The Augusta Westland AW-159 Wildcat is a military helicopter developed by the British Italian helicopter manufacturer Augusta Westland and later marketed by the Italian aerospace company Leonardo. It is an improved version of the Westland Super Lynx designed to serve in the battlefield utility. Search and rescue, aerial reconnaissance, anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, utility, command and control, and troop transport duties. Development commenced during the early 2000s under the name Future Lynx to replace the existing Lynx helicopters then operated by both the Royal Navy and British Army. Various new electronics and avionics systems were incorporated, including a glass cockpit, onboard integrated digital open systems architecture, Bowman communication system, and various mission systems. The Wildcat also features numerous airframe improvements, such as the redesigned tail rotor and nose, greater structural strength, and a longer lifespan of 12,000 flight hours. New munitions, such as the Martlet anti-surface missile and the Sea Venom anti-ship missile, were also integrated. The Wildcat features an increased payload and range over the preceding Super Lynx. It is operationally required to carry up to eight future anti-surface guided weapons up to 185 kilometers from a host ship and remain on station for up to an hour. The UK has ordered 34 Wildcats for the British Army and 28 for the Royal Navy. The Army Air Corps formed the Wildcat Fielding Team Army, which later became 652 Operational Conversion Squadron, for trials and operational conversion of Joint Helicopter Command aircrew and ground crew to the type. The Royal Navy also commissioned a Wildcat Fielding Squadron, 700W Naval Air Squadron in 2009. Both units are located at RNAS Yeovilton. In February 2012 a prototype Wildcat ZZ-402 conducted 20 days of trials aboard HMS Iron Duke off the coasts of England and Scotland. The tests involved operating under challenging weather conditions to define ship helicopter operating limits for when the type would enter service in 2015. During the trials, a total of 390 deck landings were completed, including 148 night landings, 76 of which being conducted by pilots using night vision goggles. The first production Wildcat was received in May 2012 by the WFT Army ZZ-406. The Royal Navy received their first airframe at the end of 2013. Further trials of the type were conducted, such as deck landings aboard RFA Mounts Bay. In July 2012, the Wildcat conducted its first public display at the Farnborough International Air Show. At the event, Defence Secretary Philip Hammond stated that the Wildcat represents a considerable advance over the current Lynx helicopters, bringing greatly improved performance and capability. On 29 August 2014, the Wildcat AH-1 formally entered service with the Army Air Corps. On 23 March 2015 the Royal Navy's first Wildcat HMA-2 began its initial operational deployment at sea on board HMS Lancaster. By 2024 all 62 Wildcats had been delivered to the British Army and Royal Navy. In excess of 10,000 flight hours had been logged between the services along with a 100% availability rate achieved at sea and over 1,200 deck landings performed. In September 2015, a Wildcat HMA, two of 825 Naval Air Squadron was deployed aboard HMS Duncan in the Persian Gulf to perform extreme high temperature trials. On 4 July 2019 Royal Marines from 42 Commando Unit used a Wildcat to board and detain the Grace 1 oil tanker off Gibraltar. DE&S has ordered a significant number of Thales UK's lightweight multi-role missiles for UK armed forces. The order worth £176 million will equip current and future short-range air defence capabilities including the British Army's Stormer combat vehicles and Royal Navy's Martlet Maritime Anti-Surface Missile System deployed from Wildcat helicopters. Weighing only 13 kilograms each lightweight multi-role missiles provides a versatile, precision solution against threats such as drones, helicopters, other aircraft and small, fast maritime targets. Supporting 135 jobs at Thales site in Belfast, Northern Ireland, the contract will also support economic growth through small and medium enterprises and the local supply chain. This contract is also a great example of how defence investment can support economic growth and sustain jobs in the UK for years to come.
Our new order of lightweight multi-role missiles from Thales UK will support this. Providing our armed forces with versatile missiles that can be used against threats such as drones, helicopters and small maritime targets. The personnel from 815 Naval Air Squadron have been honing their skills with the Martlet missiles carried by their Wildcat helicopters. The weapons system is part of the Wildcat helicopter's maritime attack role providing a so-called ring of steel around warships. The Martlet missile is released from the helicopter in 0.3 seconds and accelerates to one and a half times the speed of sound towards its target. The missile is targeted by a laser, there is a camera on the nose of the aircraft which has been modified to have an additional laser used for targeting. As a result of its remarkable precision, the Martlet missile is capable of targeting a threat across land, sea and air. The missiles saw their operational debut on the Wildcat helicopters in 2021 since when their role has expanded. No longer solely focused on traditional adversaries, attention has been redirected towards combating the rising threat of drones. Based at Royal Naval Air Station Yeovilton, 815 Naval Air Squadron stands ever ready to push the boundaries of the Wildcat's capabilities. Alongside the Martlet and Sea Venom missiles, these versatile helicopters boast additional armaments, including the M3 cabin-mounted gun and Stingray torpedoes. In the ever-changing landscape of modern warfare, the versatility of the Wildcat helicopter has never been more vital. In the maritime setting, lightweight multi-role missiles was first fired from a Wildcat in the Bay of Bengal during the Royal Navy's Carrier Strike Group deployment of 2021. Marking initial operating capability for the Martlet system. Martlet has since supported operations including Prosperity Guardian, which protected commercial ships from attacks by Hothi rebels in the Red Sea. The order follows a £69 million contract placed by DE and S earlier this year, also with Thales UK, to secure the supply chain for key components used in the manufacture of the missiles. Today's contract announcement reflects the enduring partnership between the UK MOD and Thales for the provision of lightweight weapons and to make industry more resilient to deal with increasing demand.